Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the on the on the ranch here. I know it's been quite a quite a while since we filmed anything. Um, just been busy with life. Um, been busy at work and and uh, like we said in our previous video a few months ago, um, my wife was pregnant and and we had our little baby on October 26th. So we've been pretty pretty happy with that and tied up with that and sleepless nights now and changing diapers and everything else. So it's it's uh, it's tough to get out here and make a video, but I'm, I'm gonna try my best now that uh, it's kind of winter time now and things are slowing down a bit, so we can do a bit of feeding and, and stuff like that. So we'll we'll have lots of time to make some videos and stuff. Um, but today we got the uh, the bulls in the in the corrals here. We're going to uh, run them through. We separated them out from the cows um, a couple days ago, and we're gonna give them their uh, yearly vaccinations and and dewormers, and then they're gonna go back. Uh, back over in another pasture and feed themselves by the winter uh, feed themselves uh, by themselves for the winter until they got to go back out to the cows in, next year but uh, we got uh, six in here right now oh looks like Brant's chasing the other four into the runway over there and uh, baited them in there with the bale run them down the alley here and get them closed in I might have to jump down there and do that right now but we got six in here right now we got ten total so we can uh, hopefully they'll hopefully they'll go in there into the shoots nice, and we can get them all all uh, vaccinated and, and needled, and send them off out in the pasture again. So uh, stick with us, and uh, we'll, s we'll see what we can do. Here's little Sawyer. Got her in her buffalo seat, uh, buffalo cover car seat. She's ready to wrangle them buffalo. Not quite yet, maybe, but. One day. <laughs> Got her in a nice warm shed. She'll do the record keeping with mom. Big boys, okay. Let's go, come on. Come on. Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. I think you need a prod there. I need a prod. Ooh, it's always a challenge getting them up through here. The big boys, they know what's going on and they don't like going in there, so you gotta give them a little persuasion. A few of you wanted to see how the shoots in the back here work, so let's open her up. And you move the next one up. Here we go. Come on. Now. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now. Come on. There you go. There you go. A little further. A little further. Yeah, just leave him. He's a little long, won't fit in there. Oh, there's the little Sawyer. Must be the only one. Twenty-four seventy, big bull. So how much does this one bring? Twenty-four seventy, so, so two like CCs of that. T one seven. Give him a little safeguard for dewormer, eight way for black leg and other uh, diseases, and a little live mech. Huh? Wait. This one is. What's the weight on that one? 21. 
I think he's a yellow tail. Man on two springs. Easy fella. It's a five five four. Five or three fifty four, I think. What? Yeah. This one is from uh, Manitou Springs. Bought him a few years ago. You need them, Scotty? One more to go. I think so, yeah. Three five four. C three five four. Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Bull B one thirty eight. It's from uh, Elk Valley. Probably uh, five or six years old now. He weighed in at twenty two thirty eight. Good size boy. Trying to get some safeguard in him. Just like, just like candy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Good size boy. Take it for that sale. <laughs> <laughs> Seven E here. He's one of our homegrown bulls. Put four, four in last year. He's a uh, about three year old this year, I think. Coming along nicely. I think he's about uh, just over eighteen hundred pounds. Us next three are our homegrown bulls. So we'll let him out. He's the last bull D two from X Y Bias, and we picked him up at a sale a few years ago. He was the uh, Grand Champ there, Grand Champ male. From XY Bison all the way up in uh, Fort St. John, Bill Bafu, Bill and Faye. So that's that's the, all of them. The rest of them are back there already. We're gonna send this one out and then we'll send them back out in the field. The boys are all done here. We're just gonna open them up and then they can go down the runway. Hopefully they can find their way across a couple quarters and that's where they'll uh, stay for the winter for the winter. We'll be feeding them over there, away from the main main herd here, but... Um, what? What? Over top of it? No, they wouldn't wreck it. I could put it off to the side there, though. I'll do that. I'll set this up and then we can get really get some cool action. Huh? Yeah, I'll just set it up over here. Maybe on the snowbank. <laughs> they won't wreck it on the snowbank here. Let's see what that does. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Well, that was pretty cool. There they go. Slowly down the runway, they'll find their home way back in the quarter over there. So, so uh, we'll get things cleaned up and then got to run some yearlings in uh, in a couple days. We've got a couple in that we're going to put in a show here coming up in December. So, got to pick up pick out a couple and that's going to come and, and uh, we'll get to test out this new alley there. Alleyway here, the boys built. They're home over there, so they'll be able to run right up into here and into the corral. So we'll see how well that'll work. But yeah, in a couple days, we got the yearlings. Uh, gotta run them through, separate them, and then put them into their into their feedlot pens. 
um, on the other side of the shop there, where they hold a go and start to eating on some pellets and stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, put a little bit of action on it. We do that too. Oh, if I can get to this gate. Yeah, we gotta try and get a good bowl. We got a class going into a yearling bull sale and uh, a pen of three heifers. So it'll be for my first time putting animals into a sale, um, which is kind of different this year since COVID and stuff. So it's it's a virtual sale online. So uh, the auctioneer is going to come to the farm and uh, video them. And then uh, they, don't, they don't even go to a sale barn. They just get sold off farm. So it's kind of a unique thing, new this year. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully the animals do all right, though. Hopefully, hopefully we get some good prices and people recognize some good uh, good quality genetics or we got here on the farm. So, uh, anyway, till next time, we'll uh, we'll be video a bit when the yearlings are, are running through on uh, in a couple of days. We'll uh, we'll, we'll catch you then.